big thank you for joining us today with Church on the Beach. It's Bill and Rosalie from the Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. Large crowds would come together to hear Jesus speak and to be healed of all their sicknesses and diseases. Yet he often withdrew himself into a quiet place to pray. In Luke chapter 5 verse 17, on one of those days while he was teaching, people came from everywhere and sat to listen to him. And the power of the Lord was present for him to heal the sick. There was an atmosphere because the power of God was present. There's such a great need today to create an atmosphere through praise, worship and adoration so that the presence of God is there. For God dwells in the presence of people who praise Him and worship Him. If there's no presence of the Lord, there's no power, no miracles, no reason to rise up in the inner man and receive healing from the Lord. In Acts chapter 10 and verse 38, the Bible tells us how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. And he went about doing good and healing all of those that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. How we need to be baptized in the Holy Spirit today and have the anointing of God abiding within us. And if we have it, we need to stir it up. The needs around about us are so many. That is to stir up the gift of God which abides within us. Let me illustrate from the first book of Samuel, chapter 16. You'll need to read it for yourself. I just want to take a couple of things that will help us. God said to Samuel the prophet, Go down to Bethlehem, to the house of Jesse. I want to anoint one of his sons. And God doesn't look on the outward appearance, he says, but he looks into the heart of people. And Samuel had to bypass all of Jesse's sons as he went down the line, one by one. And Samuel said, have you any more sons? Well, it's just one out in the fields, tending his father's sheep. And Samuel said, I won't sit down until you bring him to me. And when they brought David to him, he took the anointing oil. And he anointed David in the midst of his brothers. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forth. And it was not long before David had an assignment. Because King Saul was being literally tormented by an evil spirit. His servants knew the power of an atmosphere that has the presence of God. I'd heard about this young man called David who knew how to bring the presence of God through praise and worship and ministering to the Lord with instruments. And King Saul said, Go and bring him to me. And when he came, he played his stringed instrument. And the power of the Lord came down. And whatever was tormenting King Saul left. David had created an atmosphere to bring down the power and the presence of Almighty God. Jesus said in Acts chapter 1 and verse 8, You shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit has come upon you. This word power in the Greek is dunamis or dynamite, a force that is having the ability to work miracles and mighty works. And we can have that inherent power abiding within us. That is, every believer walking in the Spirit is a walking dynamo and ready for action. Listen to what the Apostle Paul says in chapter 5 of the book of Ephesians, verse 15. Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, 
but understanding what the Lord's will is. Do not get drunk on wine, which leads to careless behavior. Instead, be filled with the Spirit. Speak to one another in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Sing and make music in your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So let's keep on praising the Lord and giving thanks for everything and let no one take your joy, but have a merry heart, for a merry heart is like a medicine.